we do useful and essential work, right? Work that matters, work that people compete for, and contracts that are won because the product is not only better but also costs less. And now, a new chapter is unfolding in that story. The Tesla Model 2 is coming, and it is set to shake up the electric vehicle market in a way we have never seen before. This is not just another car announcement, this is about a transformation, about a vehicle designed to reach millions of drivers across the world who have been waiting for an affordable Tesla that still brings cutting-edge technology, reliability, and performance. The big question is, what are the biggest changes that Elon Musk has revealed for this upcoming affordable electric car? How are these updates going to affect everyday drivers, especially those who want advanced features but cannot afford luxury prices? And beyond that, what does this mean for Tesla's future and for the broader world of electric vehicles? Today we are going to dive deep into all of this, piece by piece so stay with me until the end because you do not want to miss a single detail. Welcome to Torque Element, your channel for clear and data-driven Tesla updates, news and analysis that actually cuts through the noise. While many other channels love to speculate and hype things up, we stay focused on facts, on real specifications, and on explaining exactly what these developments mean for you as a driver, as a tech enthusiast, or even just as someone curious about the future of transportation. If you want to stay ahead of Tesla's latest moves, this is the right place to be. And right now, Torque Element is moving towards that milestone of 2,000 subscribers. So, if you enjoy content that actually informs and keeps you updated without confusion, make sure you subscribe to Torque Element and ring that notification bell, because trust me missing out is not an option. Now let's talk about what many are calling the blueprint for the Tesla Model 2, and interestingly, that blueprint can already be seen in the new six-seater Tesla Model Y that has just been introduced in China. Tesla has officially launched the Model Y Long, a stretched six-seat version of its global bestseller, exclusively for the Chinese market. But here's the catch. While this is marketed as a local variant, it may actually hold clues for global design strategies and could have massive implications for future Teslas. The Model Y Long features an extended wheelbase of 3,040 mm, which is actually longer than the wheelbase of the Tesla Model X, which sits at 2,965 mm. Its overall length is 4,976 mm, making it longer than most people expected for a Model Y variant. This new stretched version fills an important gap between the regular Model Y and the much more premium Tesla Model X. More importantly, Tesla's development history combined with multiple leaks suggests that the upcoming Tesla Model 2 will heavily build upon the architecture and design strategies that have already been applied here with the Model Y Long. Insider reports and even Elon Musk himself have hinted that the next-generation compact Tesla, what many are calling the Model 2, will use a scaled-down, cost-optimized version of the Model Y platform. What this means is simple. The innovations introduced in the Model Y Long, such as the extended wheelbase optimization, more efficient interior packaging, and the integration of lithium-iron phosphate batteries, are not just random tweaks. They are test cases. They are direct precursors of what we should expect in the Model 2. One of the biggest lessons comes from seating design. Unlike the cramped seven-seater Model Y variant that Tesla offered in the past, this new Model Y Long with its three-row seating arrangement is actually usable. It is adult-friendly and has become possible thanks to smarter packaging and better use of space. This design efficiency shows us Tesla's future strategy. Optimize cabin space to its maximum, especially for compact models like the Model 2 where every centimeter counts. The Model Y Long sits at just under 5 meters in length, but the Tesla Model 2 is expected to be closer to 4,300 millimeters, which is about 169 inches. That makes it even shorter than a Toyota Corolla Cross. Yet despite being smaller in size, it is still expected to comfortably seat five adults and provide the kind of practicality that families want. This is possible only because Tesla has learned how to engineer and repackage interior space more intelligently, drawing directly from experience with the Model Y Long. Now performance-wise, the Model Y Long is equipped with dual motors, it is all-wheel drive, it can hit a top speed of 217 km per hour, which is around 135 miles per hour, and it can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in about 5.9 seconds. It is powered by an 82.5 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery, delivering a range of up to 688 km under city test cycles, which translates to roughly 427 miles. That is very impressive for a family-oriented vehicle. Of course, the Tesla Model 2 will not match all these specifications. It is a more affordable model after all. Instead, it is expected to use a smaller battery pack, somewhere in the range of 53 to 60 kilowatt hours, 
and target a more modest but still very practical real-world range of about 400 kilometers, which is around 250 miles. This range is actually Tesla's internal benchmark for affordable daily-use electric cars, ensuring that it is enough for most people's commutes, errands, and weekend trips without being excessive or unnecessarily expensive. By leveraging all the lessons from thermal management, packaging, and cost-cutting that Tesla applied to larger vehicles like the Model Y Long, the company is aiming to drive production costs for the Model 2 down by as much as 50% compared to existing models. That was something Elon Musk himself stated in the past. The strategy is clear. Test innovations on bigger, pricier cars, refine them until they work perfectly, and then scale them down to affordable mass-market cars like the Model 2. Even the design traits of the Model Y Long, such as the redesigned structural pillar, the longer rear overhang, and the aerodynamic spoiler, all serve one purpose improve efficiency and performance. These features, though tested on the Y Long, are expected to appear in simplified and streamlined form on the Model 2. Some industry experts believe the Model 2 may even adopt a sleeker fastback silhouette to maximize airflow and minimize drag, which will keep energy consumption low despite the smaller battery size. The Model Y Long also introduces new modular options such as its special wheels, longer rear design, a golden color option, and that six-seat layout. Similarly, the Model 2 is expected to come with simplified but highly modular trim levels that allow Tesla to build and customize the car in large numbers for different global markets. Production is projected to take place at multiple Giga factories, including Giga Mexico, Giga Shanghai, and Giga Berlin, all working together towards a target of producing around 4 million units per year. This is not just about making a single car. This is about Tesla building a global platform. Of course, pricing will be the key difference. The Model Y Long, with all its features, is expected to cost somewhere around $50,000 in China. The Tesla Model 2, on the other hand, is laser-focused on that magic price point of $25,000. But the real similarity between these two cars lies not in the sticker price but in the underlying architecture and cost optimization that makes it all possible. Every millimeter of space Tesla gains, every dollar they manage to save in production, every tiny improvement in design efficiency, all of it tells us more about what the Model 2 is going to become. And this is why even if the Model Y Long never officially makes it to North America or Europe, its impact will be felt worldwide. But that's just one piece of the story. Another major part of the puzzle for the Model 2 is Tesla's artificial intelligence and supercomputing strategy. Real-world AI applications like Tesla's full self-driving system and even their humanoid robot Optimus require immense computing power, far beyond the capacity of ordinary consumer hardware. That is where Tesla's custom-built Dojo 2 supercomputer chip enters the picture. This chip, which is now reportedly in mass production by TSMC, the largest semiconductor foundry in the world, is not just a side project. It is fundamental to Tesla's plan to scale AI capabilities. For the Tesla Model 2, which is being designed to launch globally around the year 2026, the Dojo 2 chip is absolutely essential because it enables Tesla to train neural networks faster, cheaper, and more effectively, which in turn ensures that even the most affordable Tesla models will get frequent and advanced autonomous driving updates. The Dojo 2 chip is engineered specifically for Tesla's needs. Unlike traditional GPUs, it uses custom instructions optimized for Tesla's vision-based systems. This means it can process the massive video datasets collected from Tesla vehicles worldwide much faster and with less energy. And since the Tesla Model 2 is expected to be produced in the millions every single year, the amount of data collected is going to skyrocket. That data is what powers Tesla's self-driving improvements, and Dojo 2 is the tool that makes it all scalable. This is particularly important when we consider that the Tesla Model 2 will come with a smaller battery compared to luxury Teslas. Somewhere between 53 to 60 kilowatt hours, targeting around 400 kilometers of range. That is more than enough for daily use, but it also means Tesla needs to rely heavily on constant software and self-driving improvements to keep the car attractive. With Dojo 2, Tesla can quickly train new updates and send them directly to Model 2 owners, giving them better safety features, smarter driving capabilities, and an overall improved experience over time. What makes this even more fascinating is how Tesla is integrating everything vertically. From designing the silicon to building their own compilers, Tesla controls every part of the AI training process. That kind of integration eliminates the inefficiencies you see with off-the-shelf solutions and ensures that the Model 2 delivers maximum value at minimum cost. So when you look at it all together, the cost-optimized design, the efficient use of space, the modular trims, the global gigafactory production, 
and the AI capabilities powered by Dojo 2, it becomes clear that the Model 2 is not just another car. It is Tesla's attempt to bring cutting-edge electric vehicles to millions of people at a price they can actually afford, without sacrificing what makes Tesla special. Now the big question is, how do you think the Tesla Model 2 will change the electric vehicle market and the experience of everyday drivers? Are you excited to see an affordable Tesla that can reach millions worldwide? Share your thoughts in the comments because I am curious to hear what you think. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Torque Element, and hit that notification bell so you never miss future updates. We are just getting started and the best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.